Hello, this is Monkey Mikey here. And I'm going to show you a couple of stuff that I found that's pretty interesting. I'm not going to go full detail. If you want to, I'll link up in the descriptions all the links I found that I find that's pretty interesting about the Surface Phone and how it's releasing and what's the process and steps of what they're taking about the phone. And they don't want to screw it up because if they do, they already failed a Windows phone, but got to think about it. The Wendell phone community has never stopped itself from keeping the phone alive. And I don't think Windows or Microsoft is going to just quit on the, the platform itself on the Windows phone. They've just been ahead of the game before anybody came in. And that's how the Xbox One was. And they said, oh, yeah, we're ahead of it, but... When everyone came in the cloud game like Stadium, see what I mean? It kind of makes where cloud gaming in is becoming a big thing. And now the same thing with the Windows Phone. It was head of its game, head of its time. Now, now everyone has caught up to Windows. Now it's Windows time to shine. This is how what I look at it for. This is what I found. And I'll send up the links for you guys to look at. I don't think it's gonna... It's 17 been post, but it's still a big thing. That ARM, Microsoft ARM edition for Windows 10. And they've been kind of like pushing a drama out and making everything. And people have been talking about this, but... Microsoft's been po posting a lot of actual Surface books and stuff that try to master the ARM edition, S edition, and Windows 10. Trying to keep everything in in a loop where they're trying to master Windows 10 to where they can put it on a phone. They don't want to screw it up because they only have one try. If not, everyone's going to go to Android. And Windows phone is already saying, okay, you go to Android, but it's not the best thing in the world. But us Microsoft people and us Windows Phone 10 mobile users, we love the, the platform how it is. And it's never going to change. And us people are never going to actually give up on the software. And I don't think Microsoft should actually give up. And then this is proof that there has, they haven't even stopped to attempt to even give up on it. See, they are partnership with AMD and Windows 10 on ARM. That means that's a really good thing. That means integration on the GPU and CPU, but they still have to get a couple of things together. And let's see if they do come out with the Surface phone and I think they're going to, but I'm gonna link up this this link inside the description and this when i was adding i had to go back to the talking all over again and everything annoying but this is basically showing proof that they are trying to upgrade certain phones to arms and to keep the chi chipset because most of the windows phones itself has chipset of snapdragons and they're able to handle most of the processors and what Windows ARM is basically giving. I know some of the phones are running one gig and two gigs for Windows phones, but most of the ends are two and up. I think they'll be able to handle ARM, but I'll show you which phones are going to be pushed to Windows 10, and a lot of people know this already, but... They are trying to push it, and they're trying to say, hey, this is the end of Windows 8.1, but not 10. This is a big deal, though. Not 10. They just want to end a whole chapter of what Windows Phone was. And you know how no Windows Phone's notorious of pushing out all the updates and trying to get it to what it is. And that's what the best part about Windows Phone is, is that you never know what you're going to get. 
and it's always continuously changing and de developing over time. This is why a lot of people loved the Windows Phone itself because of the marketing of how they put it. Android, come on, you end up with one one thing and you're stuck with that actual software or you have to do launchers. And the Android store, too much crap going on there. Be basic about everything. I don't like Android and I'm using Android right now be until Windows Phone comes out. And I put my 950 in the washer on accident. There you go. Kind of tells you what I, where, where I'm at right now. But these are these are all the actual phones that are going to Windows 10. And I think these are all the phones that are going to be pushed to ARM Edition later down the road. Because they have to keep everything in line with every... They're, they're, they're not going to just drop the phones. That's how I feel about it. They're not going to just drop all the the Windows phones and just tell them, no, you have to buy this new phone. No. You can upgrade when you want to and how you want to and keep the same, same phone and still upgrade to ARM or 10. And that's what I like. But this is the ARM itself. This is when they're talking about this is in 2018 in May, but they are working on it. It's actually turning out to be what it is. It takes some time, but give them, give Microsoft some patience, and sooner or later, everyone will have their Windows phone, what they really want to, and it's going to be superior than what Android and iPhone has to offer. But I'll leave the links. There is a video if you want to click it. And I'm going to note this too. Remember when Windows Phone was an RT tablet version? And this was around 8.1 or 8 around that time. And you know how when Windows 10, we're talking about OS edition. Okay. And then, and then they shipped it again, and they changed the actual updates. And when I say, okay, now they're busy, they've been pushing out ARM edition for smaller ends. Yeah, you kind of see where they're trying to ship Windows 10 to be for each type of device what they are. And what I found is interesting is that a lot of Android phones now these days are using Snapdragons. Because of the low end and handling battery better. And it holds up GPU a lot more better than any other chipset out there for phones. That I think a lot of people when they find out ARM is a compatible thing for Android. A lot of people are going to just jump ship to Windows arm and that's going to be a big change because it's like every like microsoft said they were pushing windows 10 on everyone i think that's what they're going to do they're going to try to throw off android say hey we'll jump on your platform but when the microsoft launcher came out for android and i think it's another way to get to get them to say hey we're going to take over sooner or later Join us or don't. And it says right here, new mobile devices that would run Windows Core OS on ARM. Such a, such a box is current refer as a drama launch may take a few years. Just don't, just be patient. Keep your Windows phones on the side, get ready for it, stay with Windows, especially I am going to when I get my, when I get my 950 XL, but this is Monkey Mikey, this is out.
Later, guys.